Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today's video is going to be recommendations for fantasy series. Now I have five series here. I haven't necessarily completed them all, but I would highly recommend reading them just because I I loved all of these. Just maybe even it's the, it's the first book I loved it or I read a couple in the series and I really love it and I highly recommend it to you guys. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right on into it. The first one here I have is this savage song by victoria schwab now, i just recently read this book which you guys will be seeing in my wrap up of this month um this is a duology the second book comes out on june 13th which i am so excited for i read this book in two days this book is about um a boy and a girl kate and august um august is a monster and kate is a human and it's kind of like a dystopian world where the United States is not really the United States anymore. Um, it's broken up into different territories. And there's this one city who is, like, it's split down the middle between the North City and the South City. One's controlled by Kate's dad and one's controlled by August's dad. In this world, when you commit a sin, a monster is born. Like... There's three different types of monsters, and one of them is where, like, if you commit an act of violence but that does not result in death, this type of monster is born. Or if you commit an act of violence and one person dies, or that person dies, like if you shoot somebody and they die, this type of monster is born. And then there's August, who was born out of like a massacre. So it's about these two parts of the city are fighting because they created this treaty and now the monsters are trying to rise up against the humans. There is absolutely no love story in this series. I have never seen that in a YA before and I thought this was handled very well. There was no love story at all. It was just all about friendship and getting past each other's differences but I will get more into this in my wrap-up, and if you guys would like to see a duology review on this series when the set, once I get the second one and read the second one, I could totally do that. Just let me know down in the comments what you guys would like. Next I have The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I've read the first two in this series, The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves, and I really loved this series. I just never generally like marathon a series and I read these two back to back and I felt like I was getting burnt out so I put off starting the third one and now I've put off so much that I don't really remember a lot of what happened in the first two so I know I'm going to have to reread these two before I continue on with the series which I plan on just powering through and marathoning it just because I need to otherwise I'll end up in the same boat where I'll get past the second one and be like, eh, well, I want to read something else. And then I'll just have to reread the first two again and I feel like it'll be an endless cycle. So I just need to power through this whole series just because I don't want to have to continue to reread and reread and reread this series. Um, but this series follows four boys um, who are called the Raven Boys and one girl called Blue, that's just her name. Um, and they meet each other and they go on this adventure to try and find this Welsh king who died a long ass time ago and they believe that if they find him they will be granted a wish so it's all about them following these ley lines and stuff to try and find where this Welsh king is buried um, and it was a lot of fun I really enjoyed it like I said and I plan on rereading these very soon Next is not really a series, but it's like a bunch of series put together, and I have the first book in the very first series here, um, and that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. This is the very first book in like the Shadow Hunters Chronicles, because as of right now, there are three different series within the Shadow Hunters Chronicles. So there's this is the Mortal Instruments, then there's the Infernal Devices, and then the Dark Artifices series. Shadow hunters are have powers, I guess. Like they are really good at fighting and they are able to take runes on their body, like they're able to put runes on their bodies um to help them with things. Um if you tried to put a rune on a human, they would die probably more than likely. Um but 
They are called shadow hunters, also called Nephilim, which are half angel, half human. Um, and it's uh, they've got demons, which they they call they call a bunch of different things like downworlders. The downworlders are like the fairies, and there's werewolves and wizards. Well, not really wizards. What do they call them? Warlocks. That's what they call them. I had a brain fart right there. Yeah, they call them warlocks. Um, so anything that's not basically a nephilim or a human is considered a downworlder. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. This first series has six books in it. The Infernal Devices has three. And as of right now, The Dark Artifices has two, but there will be, it'll be a trilogy. Um, but yeah, this series was a lot of fun. The first one is a little bit hard to get into, but once you get past the first one, I feel, like once you get past the first one, it's like smooth sailing through the rest of the series. I powered through this whole series, um, all six books in about a month, which doesn't happen for me usually, so, yeah, The Shadow Hunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. And the next two series I'm going to recommend are by the same author, and as you guys all know, Sarah J. Mass is probably my favorite author of all time, so I am recommending the Throne of Glass series and the Court of Thorns and Roses series. Um, of the two series, A Court of Thorns and Roses, I like better. This is a series about this girl killed a wolf, but it wasn't really a wolf, it was a fairy. So as payment for killing a fairy, she has to go live in Printhian, which is the land of the fairies. Um, which is kind of, it's like loosely based, the first one is loosely based on Beauty and the Beast. Um, which, there's a lot of aspects in here that I can see that, like, having to go live with the f the fairies as payment for what she did, which is kind of like Belle having to live with the beast because her dad took the rose. Um, and then there's the fact that Tamlin can turn into a beast. And, yeah, so it's basically Feyre's adventures in Perinthian and her dealing with that. And then there's the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass as well. Um, this is about a girl named Selena who is, has been training to be an assassin since she was like six years old, I believe. Um, and now she's competing to become the king's champion. And being the king's champion, you basically do all his killing for him. So he doesn't have to get his hands dirty. Very good. Highly, highly, highly recommend both of these series. I just love them so much. So that was today's video. Um, if there were any series that you recommend that I read, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye!